Zendix tutorial how to use Zendix for customer service hi guys welcome back to the channel in this video I am going to show you how to use Zendix ticketing system to provide customer service so let's get started first of all go to the service page and click on this free trial option here then provide your personal email or work email address and provide the basic information such as your name, phone number, job title, company name and after you verify your email address, you will be prompted to provide information for a personalized trial. You need to give them the information on your previous experience with using any customer service software. Also you need to specify the numbers of agents that are going to use Zendex. And then you will land on a dashboard like this. So this is your Zendex customer service dashboard and I'll show you how to use it. On the left hand side of the screen, this is your navigation panel. Here you have the dashboard option where we are currently in. Also you have the views here, then you have customers, organizations, reporting, and lastly the admin option now i am going to start with the ticketing feature now zendex offers you two way to create a ticket the first way is to go to this add option here and click on ticket then you need to add the name of the person you are creating the ticket for and specify the agent who will work on this here I am creating the ticket for Mike, so I am searching his name, it is already appeared and then I am assigning the ticket to Sid, he is an agent I have already added. Then as an admin I am going to follow this ticket so that I can get every update on the ticket timeline. Then you need to specify the subject line. Here I am saying that Mike has an account login issue. Next I am setting the priority to high and marking it as an incident type. Then you need to add a public reply. Here I am just adding hi Mike and you will be able to create the ticket by clicking on submit as new now to see the newly created ticket all you need to do is to come to this views option and go to all unsolved ticket and here you will be able to see this newly created ticket as you can see this less than a minute ago the other way to create a ticket is to go to this customer section over here and click on any customer For example, here I have opened Camellia Diaz and to add a ticket, you need to click on this new ticket and you need to follow the same steps as we have followed and you will be able to create a ticket. Now, adding a customer is also very easy in Zendix. All you need to do is to go to this add option over here, click on user. Now as you are adding a customer, you need to set the user type to end user. Then add the name and email address and the customer will be created. Here I am adding Raj as an user and specifying his email. And click on add. You can further add more information about the customers by specifying the access information over here. Also you can add contact details or the organization they belong to. Also there is option to add notes, further details and other things. 
Now to add an agent, you need to go to the same add option and click on user. This time you need to set the user type to staff member and set the role here as agent. Now here I am adding the name of Will and email address as Will to at the rate gmail.com and once will verifies his email you will be able to view the dashboard as an agent with limited access now say you want to provide customer service to employees and customers of multiple organizations for that zendex provides this organizations option in the navigation now once you add an organization by filling in the name and URL, you can segment the customers into organization. For, for example, I have specified the organization information for these two contacts, Camellia and Diaz. I have made them the member of this VFL LLC. So if you click on VFL LLC, you will be able to see both Camellia and Dylan listed as users and all the tickets created for them are also visible here. That's how you create multiple organizations and provide customer service from one Zendex account. Now moving on we have this reporting feature. Here you will be able to get reports on different activities your agents are doing and the outcome you are getting as a result. For this explore option in the reporting you need to activate it first to see the comprehensive reporting through options such as support guide chat talk and it may take some hours to set it up from zendex end as for this live talk option this gives you visibility into the customer service carried out over the phone by your agent here you will be able to get the data for total calls maximum calls waiting, average wait time and other KPIs. This will enable you to keep track of how your customers are getting services and how your agents are doing and also see areas you can optimize the customer service process further. Now coming to the admin option, you need to go to this admin center. Here you get access to all the billings, usage, security related things from this account option. Now the people and workspace feature gives you the ability to create different teams, add team members and control their access. Also, you will be able to view their workspaces. Also, here in the channel option, you get the high level access to create multi channel customer support that Zendex enable you to provide. For example, if you want to add WhatsApp as a messaging channel for customer service, click on this add channel option and select WhatsApp. Likewise, you can set any other messaging platform as your customer service channel. Now down this navigation panel, you also have apps and integration. You can use it to add different application you are currently using to the Zendex ticketing system. These are very important and useful these days. Like if you are using applications such as HubSpot, Canonly, Gong or any other platform, you will be able to integrate those using this feature. Now, there is one important feature we haven't talked about is views. Here, this your unsolved tickets shows all the tickets assigned to you that are not solved yet. And this all unsolved ticket option shows all the tickets assigned to both you and your agents. 
Now there are other options like recently updated tickets, pending tickets, recently solved tickets and also below you can see the suspended tickets, deleted tickets. Now if you go to this filter option over here, you will be able to filter all the tickets by their status, creation date, priority and other things. I have observed that Freshdex offers a better filtering option than Zendex. You will find the link to Freshdex tutorial in the video description. Now there is one more option of manage views on this bottom left corner. This will take you to the admin center that we have already explored. Now to sum up, Zendex enables you to create new tickets add users, agents, organizations very easily. Also the analytics gives you big picture as well as the nitty gritties into your customer service operations. As for the admin setting, it comes very handy for you to create teams, manage agents, customize workflow, integrate applications and so on. Overall, Zendex is a great ticketing software that you can use to improve your customer service no matter if you are a D2C or a B2B business. Now, this is all about Zendex ticketing tutorial. I hope you guys found this video helpful and that you are now able to use the Zendex ticketing system efficiently. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And if you have any question, leave them in the comments below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.